Welcome to 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Thank you so much for joining us today as we begin a very important series. As a matter of fact, this might be the most important information that I have communicated with you in a long while. Why? Because this is a series entitled Living for the Glory of God. What this series is going to do is, number one, it's going to demolish many of our idols because oftentimes we have all of these things that compete for the glory of God in our lives. Secondly, it's going to simplify life. What do I mean by that? Well, the issue isn't going to be whether or not people treat you correctly or whether or not you get justice, though, of course, we should always work toward justice. The issue is always going to be, how do I respond to my situation and do so for the glory of God? That's really the most important question that you and I could ask, and it really gives us a brand new focus and purpose for living. In the Old Testament, the word glory that is most often used is kavod. Now, there are other things that can have glory. You know, it talks about the utensils and so forth in the temple. They are holy unto the Lord. Sometimes glory is applied to other things. But when that word glory is applied to God, it indicates heaviness weightiness. It means majesty. After all, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. God is to be glorified. Now, today what we're going to do is to look at the life of Moses very briefly. You remember he experienced the glory of God on the mountain. As a matter of fact, if we had time, we'd read the 24th chapter of the book of Exodus, where it says that the glory of God came upon Mount Sinai, and Moses was there as he walked into the cloud, and later on it tells us that he met God face to face. Now, we're going to have to pick that up and look at that next time. But for today, I want you to notice that after Israel sinned with a golden calf, and you know that story, God said, in effect, I'm going to wipe out this nation. And Moses began to pray. And he put his own life on the line. And he says, God, I would rather that you smite me dead and save this nation because of your promises. So the Lord says, I'm not going to go with you, but I'm going to send an angel to go with you. And now we're in the 33rd chapter of the book of Exodus where Moses says no. He says, if your presence doesn't go with me, I'm not moving from here. I want to ask you today, do you and I realize that it is much better to actually be in the desert and arid surrounding us, thirst, hunger. It is better to be there and to bring God glory than to move ahead without his presence. Moses says, God, if you're not coming with us, I'm not going. Now, as I conclude today, I want to let you know that in each segment, as we talk about the glory of God, I'm going to be challenging you and asking you to pray a prayer that I prayed this morning before I got out of bed. I try to pray it every single morning before I get out of bed. And it is simply this, God, glorify yourself in my life today at my expense. Now, in the process of God glorifying himself in my life, I also receive benefits. But what I pray is this. Oh, God, may this be about you and not me. That's the way in which you should pray. And you should tell God today that you are not willing to move unless his presence goes with you. Unless in your experience there are some green lights and you have within your heart the approval of God May you and may I say along with Moses, we're not going 
because the distinguishing mark, as Moses mentions in chapter 33, the distinguishing mark of the people of God are his presence. It is his glory. May we live for the glory of God. Life becomes simpler. It isn't about us achieving anything necessarily, though of course we hope to achieve, but it all has to do with this. Am I glorifying God today? So I hope that you pray tomorrow morning, O oh God, glorify yourself in my life today at my expense. You'll discover that life becomes more clear, the purpose of life becomes clear, and everything begins to move along because now it's not about you, it's about his glory. Be sure to join us again next time, and of course, as I frequently say, like, subscribe, and share. Transforming messages from God's holy word. And right now, remember, it's all about his glory. Thanks so much for joining us, and as for today, indeed, go with God. Go with his glory. Thanks for joining us for 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Moody Church Media exists to bring glory to God through the transformation of lives, and we believe this can happen through solid biblical teaching. Access our resources at moodymedia.org or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash moodychurchmedia. Join us next Monday as we continue to explore the deep truths of the Bible and the Christian faith together.